Okay, this is the path the pegs move through the elliptical. Just sorry, like the, the elliptical path, that's what it is. So we are going to start by, we know that we what we are given is we're given x dot is equal to velocity in the x, which is 10 meters per second. Okay. Boom. Now we are taking this over for plus y squared equals 1, and we're going to isolate y squared. So y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared, and x squared is divided by 4. Now we're going to find the derivative of this. So we're going to take derivative and that will give us 2y, y dot is equal to negative 2x, x dot over 4. We're going to cancel out the 2s, and then we're going to take second derivative. Okay. So the second derivative is y sorry. yeah sorry um, second derivative is y dot squared plus y y double dot is equal to negative well, I'm going to factor out the 4 and then x dot squared plus x x double dot. Now from the problem we are given x equals 1, y squared equals 1 minus x squared over 4. So we're going to put x into x here and we're going to also have y equals 0 0.866, which is what y solves for in that equation. So now we're going to take this equation and we're going to solve for y dot. So now that we have y, it, we have 0 0.866 y dot is equal to x, so negative 1, times x dot, which is the velocity in the x, which we have, is equal to 10. So 10. And then that is over 4. So y dot, which is equal to velocity in the y, is equal to negative 2.89 meters per second. And since velocity is a constant, So since the velocity is a constant, meaning there's no term that could change this depending on the value, it's always going to be this in the y direction, the acceleration has to be zero. So Vx equals constant, which means Ax equals zero. Okay. Now. We're going to take this equation, y dot squared plus y, y double dot is equal to negative, we're just going to simplify this at 1 over 4, so it's negative 0 0.25 x dot squared plus x, x double dot. So what we know that x double dot is acceleration equals it's the second derivative. 
so we know that this is going to be zero so we know that all of this tends to become zero so that doesn't count anymore so let's write down what we know again so y dot equals negative 2.89 we just solved for that and then y is equal to 0 0.866 we have x dot is equal to 10, and then we have x equal to 1, and we need to find y double dot and x double dot because the question asks us for the magnitude of acceleration as well as the magnitude of velocity. So we're going to plug in our knowns to this equation. So negative 2.89. Sorry, my handwriting is bad. Negative 2.89, and this is squared plus, you know, y, and then equals negative 0 0.25, 10 squared, which is x dot, which is given to us in the question, and then plus 0, because that becomes 0. Okay. So then we have acceleration y, which is equal to y double dot, which is what we solved for, is equal to negative 38.51 meters per second squared. So we now know y double dot. So negative 38.51. And we know that x double dot is 0 because the acceleration is zero in the x direction since the velocity is a constant. So now all that's left is to find the magnitudes, which is what the question initially asked us for. So find the magnitude of acceleration and velocity. We'll start with velocity. So velocity equals vx squared plus by squared, the square root of them added together, which ends up being 10.41 meters per second. And acceleration, same thing, ax squared plus ay squared. Sorry, not, yeah, ax squared plus ay squared is equal to 38.51 meters per second squared. And that is the end of the question.